Um, cause honey, I am 36. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> hey, holy rockets. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, holy rockets, FBZs, Tweety Babies, Instagrammers. What's up? Well, today is my birthday, my actual birthday, and I had a great day. Like, I was so excited for it to be Friday, October 12th, 2012. I was so excited for this day. Um, thank you all to everybody who left me a happy birthday love on Facebook. Thank you all who left me um, happy birthday love everywhere, really. I got a couple of texts. I got a few phone calls. Um, tomorrow I'm having a birthday celebration. Um, my cheetahs, my BFFs, they are doing something for me. A dinner, I believe it's a dinner party. I am so tired. I woke up at like 4 o'clock this morning. It is now 10 o'clock. I had to work today. I spent the rest of the evening with my family. They cooked me a beautiful dinner. And I had my chocolatey chocolate chip cookies today. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my list. My friend Jonathan Daniels on Facebook, he asked me if I was going to do my list again. So... I didn't have time to do it today, so I'm gonna have to, you know, make my get my list together, and then I'll About do it in the two. morning. Do this list and go to bed because I have to be at church at 11:30 in the morning, and then I'm going to do the video, and um, I'm just like so super excited, y'all. I'm so super excited. Like I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel so free. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he has delivered me from over 30 years of bondage. And a lot of the stuff was forced upon me, but I forced it through God off of me. So I thank God. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to God. It's, it's like a new year for me. You know, have Yo, what's up? Holy Rock Cat, FBZ, Twitter Babies, Instagram, can y'all even hear me? Oh, man. I am 36. Yeah, I know. Like, right? I don't even look at. Like, right? <laughs> so today is October 13th. Happy birthday to all of those whose birthdays is on the 13th and the 14th because this video probably won't get up until the 14th because I have to go to church. I know I look a little tacky. I'm putting on a, a jacket. We have to uh, praise and worship. We're wearing black, red, white, and gray combinations. So have on a red tank. Of course, you have to put something under that. And then I have a white jacket, black skirt, and some nets. And so last year I did 35 things. Um that I had learned learned in that year so one of my friends was like you know they was asking me like well Queen Holy Rocker you should do a, um, the same thing this year so I'm like hmm okay so I was up last night trying to think of something and okay Happy birthday to Holy Rocker, to Queen. Yeah. So I thank all who sent me messages, texts, um, phone calls, and y'all like my new hair? 
Yeah, I'm tired. Y'all know I'm natural. I'm tired of doing my hair. So, you know, I went to get me a sew-in. And I'm about to be doing sew-ins, like, for the rest of the year because I love it. And it's not too tight. Okay, so anyway, get into this list. And I'm going to try to keep the music low. Y'all know I love music. And I need to hurry up because I have to get to church. Okay, so 36 things that I have learned this year. The first one is I still love Vicky Winans' song, Jesus, the Stadium Remix. When they are, let me find it real quick. It's when they chanting, chanting his name like Jesus, Jesus. I meant to have that queued up, but y'all know. WX. Is V before W? That's a shame, ain't it? Hold on. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is my jam. Right here. Fast forward a little bit. understand who he is and you calling him like that and just think like physically if he was just entering into the stadium entering into the room and y'all just like whoo okay so number two everybody is not gonna love you like you love them and I have put this on Facebook so many times because I've really learned that this year um they're not gonna do the same things you do for them back to you you are going to have to be okay with that or release the relationship or back up a little bit until you can take it. So if I'm sending you love every day and I know you love me because you've told me and your actions, you know, when we're together has shown that. But if I'm sending you love every day and sending you cards and you know, whatnots and hugs and kisses, that's how I present my love to you. Now how you present it to me may not be the same but I shouldn't feel some ill kind of way about it because I should know you enough that you love me. I mean, it doesn't hurt for a person to be told, but you can't just get mad at somebody because they're not showing you the same love that you show them. You understand that? Okay, number three. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I ain't no fool. It won't be a third time. I'm just saying. Number four, it's okay to be hurt, but don't keep that hurt bottled up faster and grow into rage. Talk about it and get it out. If you hurt, we're all adults and children, you teenagers, you will learn if you haven't already. Get the hurt out. Talk to somebody. Talk to the person that hurt you. Sometimes, well, yes, talk to somebody that hurt you or talk to someone, like if you're a child, if an uh, adult hurt you, talk to another adult and then y'all can come together and, you know, talk about, you know, what went on. Uh, number five, I still like to play. <laughs> like, I'm so grateful for my smaller God kids because, like, you know, I still like the, the kitty movies, some of them. And then I still like to go play, like, on the swing, the monkey bars, football. Like, I, re I really do love to be active. And I just like to play. I really do like to play. Um, number six, my sissy poo show be right about me. Back in the day, I could not stand it. Like, you know, I used to be like, she always got something to say. She can't never say nothing good. But if you're doing wrong and you see somebody doing wrong that you love and you see them going the wrong way, then you need to speak up about it. Because if something happened and they found out that you knew, they're going to be mad at you like, dude, we supposed to be girls. We supposed to be boys. Why you didn't tell me? So my, my sissy poo, she sure do be right and I've learned to listen to her. <laughs> oh, she used to just make me so mad, but only reason why she made me mad because she was right and I ain't want her to be right. So the truth do hurt. The truth really does hurt. Um, so I used to hate it, but God places people in your life for you. So use them. Um, number seven, I confess, I am a chocolate addict. Chocolate is sure enough good. Like, I mean, if God would have made chocolate the Holy Spirit, then I would really be saved. You feel me? 
um, number eight, I have learned to stay on my note when singing. <laughs> No matter who is singing by me, and this is this is funny to me, and some of the people who sing with me will understand. Like they give me the alto note, I sing it. Then when the soprano starts singing, I will start singing. They know, and I'm like, where the alto? Where I'm supposed to be? I used to go I'll tenor soprano alto. I would sing every part and be told I'm wrong. Um, number nine, I am tall. I am tall, like really tall, unless the world around me is full of midgets. Like I'm six feet. Now I'm comfortable with my height. It's normal to me. It's like, you know, nothing of the extraordinary, but sometimes when I go out into the world and I can have on some gym shoes and it's like, you know, I'm looking down at people like, I mean, I am really tall. I, I just, I guess I'm just now realizing it. And then, you know, I wear my four, five to six inch heels and then I be like, you know, like I'm, I'm really tired. I'm okay with it. I love my height. Ten, keep your word. I've learned to keep my word. If I can't do it or I just won't do it, I won't say that I will. Because that hurts people. If you don't keep your word, if you tell somebody that you're going to do something, do it. And if you can't do it, call them, text them, let them know that you can't. Don't leave people expecting you to do something and you don't do it. That's irritating. So I've learned to keep my word. Um, 11, when folks say, girl, you ain't changed a bit. They really don't know you and they don't want you to be, they don't want you to be, um, they want you to be the same because they haven't changed, most of them. That's what I've learned. You know, y'all, y'all from my videos, y'all know, and from knowing me, y'all know I'm silly, I like to laugh, but everything is in a laughing matter and Sometimes, you know, jokes and laughter is to cover up me wanting to clock on you or me wanting to cry. And, you know, girl, you ain't changed. Yes, I have. And if you haven't recognized that, then, you know, I accept it. You really don't know me. That's okay. You know, I don't. That's okay. I don't care. But, you know. Um, number 12, when folks let you go, it's okay to let them go, too. Um, this one person lightweight, ah, oh, this person lightweight dog me this year. They had some serious things going on in their life. And when I found out, you know, they was like, well, how you know? Um, how about a thank you for checking on me and thank you for caring? Like, when did we stop becoming cool? I, I didn't know. But you know, hey, it's okay. We live. And I was like, well, dang. I'm glad you still alive, but you know, people let you go. It's okay to let them go. I'm not saying stop loving them. I'm just saying, you know, peace. I'll see you around the world. Um, number 13. Oh, I hate hair under my arms. <laughs> I mean, when I have any type of hair under my arms, I feel like a mammoth. Like, Ugh, like where is my shaving gel? I need to shave under my arms. I'm saying like a lot. That's irritating me. So I don't like hair under my arms. Gotta cut it off. I want it off. That Lexi video, the Holy Ghost Enforcers, is hilarious. Okay, number 14. I love the Old Testament. I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but the Old Testament is banging like okay there I go again you can read the Old Testament and find just almost any type of help and then the things they went through I mean we go through our things but a lot of the stuff they went through was physical and oh the Old Testament is banging now tell me this do you think Jesus was a little bit smart aleck and sarcastic now hold on <laughs> I want y'all to go back and read some of them parables. Jesus was letting people have it. And I'm like, Jesus, now you did say we made in your image. So is that where I get my smart aleckness and sarcasticness from? Because Jesus would let people have it. And it has me weak. Oh, I laughs at Jesus all the time. And I know he laughs at me. He got to. I mean, he got to have a sense of humor for the stuff to come out of my mouth. The stuff that's respectful. Now, some of the disrespectful things I said back in the day, back then it wasn't so funny. Today, hilarious. I 
have been funny all my life. <laughs> okay, um.